For the last few years, I've had a secret weapon at my homestead, and his name is Jacques. He's become a crucial team member here at Epic Gardening, and his birthday is coming up, so I figured what better surprise than his very own greenhouse. We designed it with our friends at DC Greenhouses, shipped it here, it finally arrived. It's coming tomorrow, and I've set up the perfect surprise. I called Jacques and invited him over to the garden to give him a fake gift. What is this? Oh, it's for me. I wonder. <laughs> Someone's got a birthday coming up. This. Someone's got a little birthday. Ooh, a little mango. mango square? Have you ever heard that variety? I have not. Then I gave him a card with a choice. Either the mango, a greenhouse, or both. And I don't really think he got it. Oh, thank you. Well, which one are you going to circle? Well, if I have to choose, this is an obvious option here. Interesting. Well, because you circled both, you actually are getting a greenhouse. What do you mean? You're getting the BC Greenhouse, eight by 12 foot, Seriously? delivered tomorrow. Seriously? We think so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, bro. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, That's amazing. man. amazing. We're gonna build it out for you tomorrow. Wow. Well, starting tomorrow. That's incredible. Hopefully. So we better get to work. <laughs> we better get to work, because there is nowhere to put it right now. <laughs> Whew. Got a long day ahead of us. I just found out I'm getting a greenhouse yesterday, but I have nowhere to put it except over here. But as you can see, this is quite the disaster. Usually I don't show you guys this area just because of how messy it is. But today you're gonna see it all because I gotta clean it up, I gotta get it organized, and I have to find somewhere to put this greenhouse. So let's get cleaning and figure out where we're gonna put it. Choosing the right spot for a greenhouse comes down to two things. What part of your yard gets the most winter sun and do you actually have space to put it there? The only place that satisfied both requirements was my container garden, so we moved them all out and got to the foundation. Fortunately, this area is covered by removable pavers, which will eventually become a major component of the final build, but more on that later. The rest of the area was uneven concrete, which I cut and chiseled out before moving on to leveling the foundation. The foundation of the greenhouse is going to be built out of 4x4 treated wood, but we need to level the whole area first because without a level area, the walls simply won't meet up. To do this, I dug out the rough dimensions of the greenhouse, leveled it out, and compacted it using sand before placing the wood down to act as the base. All right, the moment's finally here. The greenhouse has arrived. A little bit of a surprise, but we are unloading it, and it looks good. It's hard to imagine that these three boxes contained everything we needed to build this greenhouse. Fortunately for me, the delivery driver was able to drop them off right at the build site, making it easy for us to get started. We got the greenhouse safely unloaded, and it looks like we got a box of glass here, the aluminum structure, and then some doors and other parts in there. But now I actually have to tie the foundation together. Then we'll unbox this and get the greenhouse going. The foundation is in, screwed together, and it is level. So the game plan was cut all the boards to size. Then on every corner, what we did is I put two power lags that is actually combining the boards. And on the inside, I have a bracket just to keep everything square. But now we need to make sure it's actually square. So what I'm going to do is take this tape measurement, hook it on the corner, and then I'm going to go to the other end. So right here, it's 184 and a half inches. So that's the diagonal measurement. So if this is actually square and even, the other corner should be the same. And on this side, I'm looking at just that 184. So I'm off by half an inch, which is pretty dang square. After creating the level base for the foundation to sit on, it was time to anchor it down to the earth. To do that, I drilled two holes into each one of the beams that made up the foundation. Then I hammered in a three foot section of rebar and sealed the hole with a little bit of silicone. This is going to stop the whole greenhouse from being able to move from side to side while also sitting nice and level on the base that we built right before. We are at the point where I'm now going to attach the base of the greenhouse to the foundation that I built. But what we're going to do is add this protective joist tape underneath this metal aluminum piece so that it's separated away from the copper treated wood. On top of that, we're also going to be running a bead of this Tremco 830 caulk that they sent with the greenhouse and that's going to create a nice little sealed barrier so that no insects can crawl through or any water can beat up underneath. It should be a fully sealed system. And then finally we're going to actually screw down two of these screws here and here. Once I'm done with this one I'll do the other side. This is where the door is going to go. Then we do the sides, the long sides, before we go to the very back and install that. After sealing the base of the foundation, it was on to building the walls. I have to admit the instruction manual for this build was quite intimidating and quite thick, but it was actually much easier than it looked. And with two people, I think anyone could put this together in three to four days. Everything is labeled and all the parts fit exactly where you expect them to. During the whole process, the only thing I really made sure to do was to make sure that everything was level as I kept adding it in. But beyond that, it was just a matter of adding nuts and bolts. So here's how this system works. You have these glazing parts, which are where the glass is gonna go. That's going to be facing out. And then what I'm going to do here is take that channel, meet it up with the hole at the base there, take this around, slide it inside. 
of this member here. And now, this is why I pre-screwed all these nuts and uh, bolts together. There's the little cutout channel here where you just slide the nut right in. Once I have all the wall members in, I'll go through and tighten them up with this little wrench. And then tomorrow we'll move on to the roof and actually putting all the glass and everything on. So maybe the greenhouse will be done tomorrow. Not too bad for a build considering I did most of this today by myself. Once I get started on a project, it's hard for me to let it go, and this one proved no exception. I worked through the weekend into the night, hoping to surprise Kevin with a nearly complete build. I knew I needed his help to get the roof done, so I did as much as I can, even finished most of the paving on the inside before giving him a call to see if he could help me get the rest of this put together. So the greenhouse came on Friday. Today's Monday, and I was away for the weekend, so I'm really curious how far Jacques got. Whoa, you've gone a long way. <laughs> Got a little uh, ahead of myself here. Yeah, so what have you done so far? <laughs> so, so far, uh, foundation's in, yeah. the base is in, and the walls. Yeah. But we're at the point now where I actually need a little bit of height. Mm -hmm. Actually, I need somebody to help me. I got you. Because we need to put this center roof post on. Mm -hmm. Can't do that by myself. No. It's going to rain soon. I need to make sure the roof is on here, because then it's going to be a sloppy mess. Okay. So. It's Bob the Builder time. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> the roof went on surprisingly easy. After putting on some crossbars and the main roofing bar, we just slid in the double walled polycarbonate and then the covers to seal that in. The real trick here was making sure that everything was installed in order so when it rains, the water flows off perfectly and doesn't leak. All right, Jacques, <laughs> you the look man like behind the glass. a man. <laughs> <laughs> on Christmas morning over here. We're putting in our first piece of the sidewall glass glaze. Where are you going in, right here? No, this corner. This right here? I, apparently we're doing corner to corner first. All right, inaugural for, inaug, okay. Anyway, first piece of glass <laughs> going in. Ooh, does it fit? Uh-oh, he messed up. Oh, that's good. Ooh, give it that tap, tap, tap. Ooh. Watch it just fall on me. The walls were made of glass and they were a little bit more challenging to put together, especially because they were custom cut for the exact dimensions that we designed Jacques' greenhouse to be. But after a few rounds of trial and error, we got it, put the door in, sealed it all off, and it was time to see the finished product. I just received the text. Jacques said he's done done with the greenhouse. So I'm bringing over the mango that we faked him out with. Let's see what it looks like. You've been working. <laughs> oh yeah, he's I've been, been working. working. And it's looking good. This looks real good. Hey guys. You got the dogs. Up? I got a little oh, PA stay resistance. Hey, I got the place for it too. Yeah, where you want to put it? Straight down the middle. Okay. I got a, the main prime spot ready for that mango. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so talk to me about this. Looks like you got a little, you know I like this. <laughs> yeah, I know you, you know like You know I that. like me some, some live edge wood. You know, a little casual salvage lumber here. It's ash, <laughs> if, if you're wondering, it's ash. Uh, no, that's just for working though. Yeah. And then I decided. Yeah, this is clever. This is actually the box that they ship the greenhouse in. Uh -huh. I built it into a little seedling bench because yeah. I wanted to save as much space, let the light in. So now I'm getting light all day. I'm up here at seating height, perfect working height. That's nice. And then, you know, I mean, hey, take a seat. Let me take a seat. Get the feel, get just, the feel. Let me just, oh yeah. Just kind of looking over your kingdom here. Not bad. Yeah. I can I can do a little pruning. I can do a little pruning. <laughs> a little I can do a little goji. No big deal. Watch the hummingbirds. Yeah. This is nice, man. And you know what? I like this ground. Yeah. Was it kind of almost already here? This was here, yeah. and I basically just pulled up all the random stuff around it and yeah. rebuilt it to make it look nice. Repurposed. Repurposed. Salvaged lumber. You obviously got some of our stuff in here. You got the green stock yeah, and, and our grow bags and stuff. Decided to do some tomatoes. So I have two cherry tomatoes for winter tomato production. Ooh. And I already had this green stock of strawberries. I was yeah. like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it all winter. Here it is. Here you go. Might even get a couple of fruit. Yeah. I have to say, it looks really good. It looks like a U style greenhouse, the garden garden, <laughs> yeah, because does you've feel got right. something that you do that I admire is you repurpose a lot of different yeah. things. Right? And sort of jack of all trades, da da da. -da. That is kind of the story of Jacques on the channel and in the Epic Gardening business. I mean, yeah. when you first came on, geology PhD, <laughs> dropped out, <laughs> he dropped out <laughs> quick. <laughs> we went and did a couple fun projects. Then you were in the warehouse. Yeah. You were cranking spreadsheets, trying to get raised beds to you guys. Really almost any job we put you on, you crushed it. And so hopefully this is just a small way to say thanks for being a part of the team, man. Honestly, yeah. it was such a great surprise. Yeah. And I feel very <laughs> grateful for this. Like, yeah. I love it. I can't wait to make use of it. Can't wait to get winter tomatoes out yeah. of here. I'm loving it. I think it's just by chance, it just fits me so well. It does. And it's even my height. <laughs> it's your height. And honestly, it's I, it's not I'm bad fitting. for you. No, yeah, I'm it's not bad for you at all. So 
Jacques' channel, Jacques in the Garden. You can go check it out. He has a whole universe unto himself. Oh, yeah. A lot of in-detail stuff, a little bit more cooking stuff. Check Jacques' channel out. Thanks for being on the team, Jacques. Happy yeah. birthday. Hey, thanks for the greenhouse. Happy birthday, <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Take it all. And we will see you on the next one, guys. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing.